Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More. I'm standing outside of Fix and Flip we just bought today. Um, so we'll go through the property, show you the numbers, talk about what we're gonna fix and what we hope to sell it for. Of course, I've got much more information on investformore.com, on all my flips, rentals, and different things going on there. So make sure you check that out. Um, so this property was a deal I got from an agent I know. So I am an agent, I'm a huge proponent of being an agent for all the flips I do just because of the money I save when I sell the properties because I can list them myself and because I can get more deals being an agent as well. And this is in the college area. Um, I don't know if I can show you it or not, but the University of Northern Colorado is about a block and a half that way. So it's really close to campus. It's been used as a rental for many years. And it could be a rental, or it could be a single family home as well. But right now it's set up as two units, totally legal, totally separate, in a separate laundry room. So it's set up really nice. We'll show you, take a look inside. It's rough, <laughs> as you can see, but not horrible. Um, this is kind of the living room area. See, the ceiling's been retextured. Uh, windows are older, they're not in horrible shape, still wouldn't help to replace them. Flooring, there's hardwood under here, I'll show you that. But really not crazy bad. Um, so I got this deal because an agent I've known for years had a seller who, they had a tenant in here when I saw it and they're not super amazing for showing the house. He didn't want to deal with a bunch of showings. He wanted to sell it as quick as he could. So she came to me, knew I flipped houses, asked me if I want to take a look at it, possibly buy it um, before it went live on the market. And I said, of course. And so uh, took a look at it that same day. Um, they wanted 175,000 for it. So I agreed to that price, got it under contract, and we closed a few weeks later. Um, thinking this house will be worth 240 to 250 once we fix it up. Um, probably really close in price either as a rental or a single family home. And we'll put, oh, probably 20 to 30,000 of work into it, depending on what all we do and how much we, we fix up. Um, the kitchen, as you can see, uh, nothing amazing. If you're gonna use it as a rental, you probably could keep this kitchen if you really wanted to. The downside is there's no dishwasher, um, but you could e easily find a space to put one if you did redo this kitchen. And with our Home Depot cabinets and stuff, it would be pretty cheap to redo it all. Probably a few thousand dollars in materials, a couple thousand more in labor. Um, two bedrooms up, one bath up, and then kind of two bedrooms down, more like one bedroom down, another bath up, and then here you can see does have the hardwood underneath. It's the old hardwood, uh, real small slats, and it's got some paint on it. I'm sure there's probably some damage in a lot of places, but I uh, would love to get all this carpet up, see how it looks. If we can save that, that's a huge bonus. People love hardwood. And here we have the second bedroom. You know, not a big house at all. But it has decent sized rooms, except for the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom is tiny. I don't know exactly what we could do to make it any bigger. So we probably just have to work with what we have there. Um, definitely want to do some work in there. New vanity, toilet, um, new surround for the tub. Right, so that is all there is upstairs. Like I said, not a whole lot going on. But, some people like smaller houses and it makes it more affordable too when they're smaller. It also makes it cheaper to fix up when they're smaller, which is nice. All right, so the other unit is around back here. Like I said, it has a separate entrance, which is a big advantage down here and like I said it has a shared laundry room so both units can have access to this which is really nice too um, hard to find that 
in a college rental like this. All right, so I don't think there's any electricity, but it's pretty bright down here. Again, not giant, but for a college rental, you know, it's not a bad space. Uh, like I said, it has two bedrooms. That's one of them. We might be able to move this wall and make this bedroom bigger because when I walk in here, it is about six, maybe seven feet wide. It is not ideal. Um, pretty long, but then it gets even narrower over there. So, um, still a bedroom, but <laughs> not very big. Furnace, water heaters in there. And then the kitchen, which is tiny. Um, kind of weird having the fridge there, but I don't know where else you can put it without gutting this whole thing and redoing it. It's probably not worth the cost to just tear out everything. Um, we'll have to come through here and figure out somehow how we can make this a little more usable and better. I had another college rental flip that we did last year, kind of for a similar kitchen and we made it a lot nicer. So we'll see what happens, but it could be tough. Love to take this wall out, but that's where your bathroom is. So that's the shower, sink, toilet, again, super tight. And then I'm about 6'1", and my head hits there, so it's not super tall either. And then here is the other bedroom down here, which is slightly more usable. It's more square, but again, not huge. Um, if you were to rent these separate, you could probably rent the upstairs for 900, maybe even a thousand, um, depending on how nice you made it. And then down here, probably 700 in that range. So it really isn't bad numbers for rental, but I do not like college rentals. All of my rentals are single family or commercial. And the issue I have with college rentals is they take much more management. You've got turnover almost every year. You've got to make sure that turnover is happening at the right time of year. College students want to rent properties in the spring um, from you know March to May is the best time to rent properties. If you don't have them rented there, it's really hard to get market rent. You have to give some big discounts to get students in. Well, that makes it tricky. And then students in general will not take care of properties as well as um, single family rentals for the most part. Um, they can have more wear and tear. It's not because all students are dirty or bad, but a lot of times it is their first or second house and they just don't know how to take care of a house. My sister has a bunch of college rentals and she's had a number of students who on you know winter break, they turn the heat off to save money. And well, in Colorado, if you do that, the pipes freeze and you flood your house. So there's a lot of things you have to be careful with, with college students. Um, so in general, I've, I've tried to stay away from it just for the management issues and the repair issues. So that's the property. Um, probably might need a roof, most likely. Needs paint on the outside, but the siding's not in bad shape. A lot of these older houses you'll see, rotten siding, have to do more work there. We'll have to do a little bit of landscaping work. As you can see, it's kind of weird. These timbers they put for the steps. But um, yeah, happy to get this one. Love to have deals handed to me. This is the third house I bought today. So actually bought two other ones from the MLS as well. So there are definitely still deals on the MLS out there. Even in Colorado, we're in one of the hottest markets around. Um, if you know how to get them. All right, thanks for watching. We'll have some more videos coming up here on other houses that I just bought and hopefully some more that are fixed up as well. And yeah, again, leave some comments if you have any questions. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, make sure you check out investformore.com for more information on everything I've got going on.